a colleague sent me this video of an aborted attempt to use the BHEX pupil expander. Let's learn how we could have successfully deployed the BHEX in the same surgery. It is evident that the surgeon is otherwise very skilled and I gratefully acknowledge his magnanimity in allowing us to learn from his mistakes. The BHEX is inserted with the BHEX forceps. The first flange is tucked. So far, so good. This is the first attempt at tucking the second flange. It didn't go as desired. And the second attempt at tucking is successful. Now, the third flange is becoming a challenge because there isn't enough people in margin available. Yet, the surgeon makes another brave attempt. And finally, he has no choice but to abort. As we can see, the surgeon is very skilled as he completes the capsular axis through a 4mm pupil without a pupil device. And then, he successfully pulls off the phaco emulsification. and IOL implantation. Let's learn how we could help this surgeon for the next BHEX case. Once the two side ports are made, it is an opportunity to assess the nature of the pupil. When the anterior chamber is inflated with BSS, if the pupil expands momentarily, it is an elastic pupil. Chang and Campbell in this landmark paper taught us that unlike the non-elastic meiotic pupil, the IFIS pupil is elastic. Small pupils are of two types, elastic and rigid. The elastic pupil is like a rubber band and any device will expand it, whereas the rigid one is like a string which needs to be torn or broken with the force of two Kuglin hooks or with the strength of the pupil device itself. The BHEX does not have the mechanical strength to tear a rigid pupil. This is how the elastic pupil expands when the anterior chamber is inflated. Slow motion demonstrates this much better. Whereas a rigid pupil does not budge. But after stretching with two Kuglin hooks, it becomes favorable for placing the BHEX. Once the sinecure were released, inflating the anterior chamber with viscoelastic would again have given away the rigid nature of the pupil. The BHEX is very forgiving. Even after the second flange is tucked, the pupil could be stretched with two Kuglin hooks. The hooks may be applied either at the free pupil margin or even at the engaged part. Here, the third flange could not be engaged. But even if it had been forcefully engaged, the BHEX would have buckled. The pupil may still be stretched even after all three flanges have been tucked. At this stage, it is advisable to place the Kuglin hooks at the corners. Overzealous stretching should be avoided as the BHEX may break. If we have a pupil that looks smaller than 5.5 mm, we must suspect a rigid pupil and a buckled BHEX. Stretching the pupil BHEX complex with Kuglin hooks will easily resolve this. To conclude, it is necessary that we distinguish between the elastic rubber band like pupil and the rigid string like pupil at the first opportunity after we have made the side ports. A rigid pupil smaller than 4mm needs to be stretched before using the BHEX pupil expander.